let's tackle a TOEFL speaking question. The first thing you want to do when you get the question for the TOEFL speaking is break down the question to something that's easy to work with and understand. As you know, you have 15 seconds to read and prepare your answer. This question looks long, but it's actually pretty simple. Let's break it down. The first section says you will need to accomplish an assignment for a presentation. Pretty much all of this information is not necessary. What we need to know here is that you're pretending like you're working on a presentation in a class. The second section says, which one will you choose? So here we know we have a choice that we need to make. You have choice one, choice two, and choice three. Choice one is to act out a scene from a play with a partner. So we know you're going to want to act out a play with a partner. So choice one involves working with somebody else. Choice two, explain your review of a novel you recently read. And choice three, read a selection of a poem. So if we break down the most important information from this whole question, it's actually not that much. You're working on a presentation for a class. You get three choices to choose one from. The first one is to act with a partner. The second one is to explain information about a novel. And the third one is to read a selection of a poem. Whichever one you choose, you want to make sure you use the words that they provide for you in the choice. For example, if you were to choose choice number one, act out a scene from a play with a partner, you'd want to make sure that the verb that you used is act out. You'd also want to make sure to use scene, play, partner. They're giving you words here that you can use in your answer. So now that we've got our question all understood, let's start. First thing you want to do is restate the question. So we're going to make a choice. Do we want to choose one, two, or three? For the purpose of this example, let's say we choose number two. When you're trying to decide which one to choose when it comes to your time, choose the one that immediately sticks out to you. Maybe you have the most vocabulary readily available for that choice. Whatever you feel most comfortable with is fine. For this one, let's choose number two. So let's restate the question. I would choose to review a novel that I have recently read, finished. At the end, when you finish your answer, you're also going to want to restate your answer, just as a wrap up here. So you're going to want to say something like, that is why I would choose to review a novel. Ultimately, you already have the beginning and the end of your question as soon as you get started. You know you need to restate, and then you know you need to restate again to wrap up. Now in between here, we want to make sure that we order our answer logically. So we want to say two or three points that explain the answer that you're making. So maybe, firstly, because, and here's where your answer comes in, because I love to read, or because I read a really good book lately. And then move on to your next point. Secondly, because, but, 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 and again, what information here fits for you? Secondly, because I could talk about books all day because reading is my favorite thing to do. And thirdly, because, ba ba ba. So here what you're doing is you're showing them that you're able to logically organize your answer. The most important goal of the speaking portion of the TOEFL test is to show use of natural language, correct grammar and vocabulary, and the ability to make a connection from beginning to end. Ultimately, what that means is that restating at the beginning, restating at the end, and then organizing in the middle with words like firstly or first, uh, secondly, thirdly, you're showing them that you have a connection 
in your brain of your answer and it all ties together. You have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion, just like your essay. So to wrap up this question as a whole, maybe your answer would sound something like this. I would choose to review a novel that I have recently read for this presentation. Firstly, because I love to read. Secondly, because recently I read a very good novel and I think I could talk about it very easily. Thirdly, because this is my favorite topic to discuss. That is why I would choose to review a novel for this presentation. So here, you haven't said anything that's too complicated. You didn't use any grammar that was too crazy. You have a very simple, clear, and logical answer. Make sure you don't go too crazy with your vocabulary and use words you're not comfortable with. This is the section to show your natural conversational language abilities.